So today we're talking about why compost tea? You know, I've been making compost. I've been doing all this stuff. What's the deal with compost tea? Why do we have to be brewing this stuff? What's the, what's the reason why? What's the importance behind partnering with the soil microbiology at that level? Do I really need to go that far? Well, we're going to get into this. <laughs> For a long time, you know, I wondered, you know, how much of the soil science do I need to understand? Um, how much of it is correct? And in my study, I've, come, I, I've, I've discovered so much information and so many caveats, so many contradictions, so many new things that are just circulating right now. Secrets. Uh, lots of amazing, amazing things. And also a lot of huge questions and a lot of you know, old patterns like, you know, uh, European agriculture being applied to the tropics. We've got some of that going on with, with soil science too. So there's a lot of layers here that we've got to like rip away and scour away and get into to understand what's really going on and then to simplify and make it something that is a pragmatic, something that's useful, something that's action-based and solution-oriented. And that's what I've been doing for the past several years. And compost tea is one of those like Swiss Army knives. It's a liquid environment that's aerated so that you can keep things from going south and anaerobic and, and stinky on you. And you can control things with, with uh, facultative microbes. You know what I mean? That's another route. But compost tea primarily is anaer... Is <laughs> is avoiding the anaerobes, is doing aerobic um, compost tea. So it's aerated compost tea. Uh, I've got a compost brewer right here with me. And this is a compost brewer I've used for years. And I've got this, you know, I've got an awesome, awesome brewer now, uh, air pump wise. I've got several of the smaller brewers so I can uh, double up on things. I can use smaller, smaller um, containers. I can use multiple containers, I can split feeds, I can do a lot of different things now. And the reason it's important is if I have a problem, if I have a plant that has a pest or a, a fungal blight or, or is showing something wrong with it, I can respond really fast. And then if I've got a plant that, you know, um, is showing that it, it's, it's, it really needs a boost of some sort, if I've got soil that needs to be remediated very quickly, if I've got, um, stuff that's coming to fruit soon if like all these different instances can be managed supported uh, brought to another level of sophistication safety those kinds of things with compost tea so we're going to up our yields we're going to deal with pests we're going to avoid pests we're going to strengthen plants we're going to accelerate growth we're going to accelerate fruiting we're going to increase fruiting we're going to do all these different things and the compost tea is a carrier okay it is life it's living but you could also toss other things in there you can train them you can be having them process kelp meal and process that kind of stuff in the compost in the compost tea and then there, it's in their waste, it's in their bodies, it's in the cycling, and then that's biologically available to the plant roots. Because plant roots don't just soak up nutrients themselves. I mean, they, so they soak up things solubly. That's why the salt-based, you know, uh, chemical ag was such a, such a uh, big thing at the time, you know, when people first got into it, uh, before they realized the consequences of that and the dead ends and the, you know, you're painting yourself into the corner situation financially that happens, which is where people are currently. That's where our agriculture is currently. And the Swiss army knife of compost teas of being able to brew biology is undeniably powerful. And that is why I use compost tea. So if you want to learn more about compost tea, subscribe to the channel, click one of these videos that's going to pop up here in a second, and share below how you are making compost tea. Because some people are just using a stick and aerating it every once in a while. Some people, you know, are using different bubbler systems. They've got the steak, you know what I mean? All these different things. Um, and every single thing is going to yield a different result, actually. Uh, the bubble size the bubble rate, you know, the different aeration. I've had a video where I have a smaller aerator going and the reality is, is it actually promotes different things. You've got to be more careful when you don't have enough airflow. 
um, uh, y you can't go as far, you know what I mean, day-wise, time-wise, hour-wise. Uh, but you can do wonderful things still with the lower flow if you've got, you know, you don't have that giant air pump and all that thing. You can do incredible things. So don't feel limited. And then also, you're going to scale up. This allows us to scale up really, really high when it's a one-part compost tea to four parts water. It's 20% of the solution. So it really allows farmers, gardeners, market gardeners, everyone, no matter what your scale is, to work with compost tea in a way that solves problems, strengthens your plants, increases your yields, makes you more money, and allows you to see how partnering with nature, how partnering with the soil biology is the linchpin in soil health, in plant health, and in reality, in our health, because we are made out of those plants and we are made out of the soils, all of us, all together. And we will return to soil, of course, in the way that, you know, we always, you know, learn about in our deepest, oldest stories. We are humans, we are soil beings. And so understanding this, partnering with the soil life, really is partnering with the biology that's in our guts that breaks down the, the, the food in our guts that makes it bioavailable to us. So it's the same thing happening for plants in the soil. It's happening in our guts. So we're all on the same pathway. We're all in the same pattern and our health matters. And so that's why compost teas, that's why kefir, that's why sauerkraut and all these different things we, we, we take that are fermented, you know, to unlock the nutrition and heal our guts with the right biology. It's the same thing with compost tea, with our soil, with our plants. We can do unbelievable things. We can be brewing it for chitinase, cellulase, all these amazing things that will have unbelievable effects in situ. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like this sort of thing, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. <laughs>